Jean Greer here at Stylish Fireplaces with five tips on how to get the right small electric fireplace for your apartment or condo or any small space where you want a fireplace. Number one is to consider the scale. Think about the size of your wall as well as the size of your room. What you don't want to end up with is a massive fireplace in a very small space. Likewise, you don't want to get one that's too small for the wall or the space that you have. In electric fireplaces, in our experience, a regular size room would require a 50 inch linear or larger and if you're looking at a traditional firebox or insert, the type with the wooden logs and so forth, a 30 inch or larger would be considered a regular size. So when we talk about a small fireplace, if we're looking at linear, it's less than 50 inches. If we're looking at traditional, it's less than 30 inches. That's how we define small. So if I have a space that requires those sizes, I'm thinking about a small fireplace. Don't choose the biggest fireplace you can fit on the wall that you have if it's out of proportion to the size of the room. A massive fireplace in a very small room is kind of like putting up a massive TV. You're just not going to be able to get far enough away to really appreciate the scale of that fireplace. Likewise, if you're putting up that big TV and then trying to balance it with the big fireplace, everything is out of proportion for this small space that you have. We don't want to see too small, but we also don't want to have something that just overwhelms the wall or the room. So do think about scale and size. You also want to avoid what I call the teeny tiny fireplaces. In a quest to get everything into one neat package, there are mantle cabinets out there that are quite small and have quite small fireboxes in them. And if it looks like it's meant to be in a child's playhouse, it isn't the right size or scale for an adult living room or den or whatever the space might be. So avoid the teeny tinies that are out there in the marketplace. It needs to be scaled for adult humans unless you're dressing a playhouse. Think about on the wall versus on the floor. So here I have on the wall and here I have on the floor. Sometimes in a smaller space, we want to get things up off the floor so that it gives the impression of a more open area and you don't clutter the floor space with the fireplace sitting on the floor. Small stoves and modern freestanding fireplaces can sit on the floor, some can hang on the wall. You need to figure out which is gonna work best in your space so that visually it's as open and looks as large as possible overall when you're finished. We also want you to remember that the size of the fireplace with an electric fireplace, the size of the fireplace does not affect the size of the heat output. In other words, if the fireplace plugs into a 120 volt connection or is hardwired for 120 volts, the maximum heat output is still 5,000 BTUs. Whether the fireplace is this size or whether it's 100 inches wide, the electrical connection determines the maximum heat output. Even the smallest fireplace plugged into 120 volts is capable of producing 5,000 BTUs of heat, which is enough to warm up a 400 square foot area. Other things determine the heat output, but with a, an electric fireplace, there's no burner. So the size of the flames is not determining the heat output. We don't want you to be worried that you won't have enough warmth for a cooler room just because you're going with a smaller fireplace. That connection doesn't exist necessarily in an electric fireplace. Last but not least, the electrical requirements are the same for a small fireplace as they would be for a large fireplace. If there's a heater involved in the fireplace, which 99.9% .9 of our electrics have heaters in them, you need to wire the fireplace for the heater. And if you are plugging it into an existing socket, 
you have to think about what, how many other things are on that circuit, on the electrical panel, and do I have enough power here to run the heater on this fireplace or not? The size of the fireplace does not determine and does not change the electrical requirements that are standard on an electric fireplace. Wire as if you're going to use the heater unless you're going to disable the heater. You can get all of these tips in more detail on our stylish blog at stylishfireplaces.ca.